he literally said to me, go to Hollywood if you want to film a movie. The man that worked here. Hey Katrina. Hi Nate. Saturday night in the center of Amsterdam. <laughs> Why? What are we doing? Why? Because we're going to go see the lights. We are going on a canal cruise to see the Amsterdam Light Festival tonight. So of course we had to get food before we do anything else in life. Are we getting donuts? Unfortunately no, because everyone knows how I feel about donuts here. I thought you were sick of donuts. You know, I had a few days to recover. All right, we're getting French fries. French fries. Flemish fries, actually. Apparently voted number one Holland fries. <laughs> the place is called Mannequin Piss, which is the name of that peeing boy statue in Brussels. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really bad name for a food place, myself. I would agree. But here we are. Does piss translate into other languages, though, or is that just like a, a an American slang? It's what you think it is. Okay. Well, because he's peeing, yeah. yeah. I get, okay. okay, this is actually not that bad. It's moving a little bit faster than but I The line at this place is often ridiculous. We decided we wanted to add something to our light festival tour. We thought we'd get famous french fries. Not just any fries, but famous french fries. So we're going to wait in line. And it's been actually a very nice day up until we decided to walk out of our house. So yeah, the moment we walked out to vlog. Hence the wind and the umbrella. So. <laughs> The lady just walked by, she's like, potatoes or whatever. What kind of sauce are you gonna get? Ketchup. Mayonnaise. I'm gonna go full Dutch. Mayonnaise. No, I don't do mayonnaise on anything. My hands are turning white. But it's okay if you're getting french fries. Hi. Hi. Can I get a medium fry with yes. ketchup, please? Medium fry with ketchup, yes, of course. That's it? That's it. Oh, and a Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Sorry. No, sir. Okay, so here we go. Best fries, number one fries in Holland. Oh, God, they're hot. Can you see that? I mean, they're pretty damn good. I do love how warm, like, hot they are. Burning my mouth. <laughs> I mean, I think they're pretty good. They could use a little bit of salt. Ketchup's good. I wish they could figure out a contraption to put, like, the dipping sauce on the side so that I could, like, very conveniently dip like that instead of having it be all like mooshed everywhere but we've had a lot of french fries in the past two weeks these are probably the best the line actually didn't take as long as we thought that it would so if you come down here and see a really long line like just hang out for a little bit you'll get some really decent fries and there's a guy there who's not very nice so if you see the older gentleman with glasses he had glasses right um he's quite rude he literally said to me Go to Hollywood if you want to film a movie. The man that worked here. Yeah, go to Hollywood if you want to make a movie. Yeah. And I told him, I said to him as calmly and as nicely as I could, I said, you're very rude. And then he wouldn't look at me. Fries are still really good though. They're great, they're thick. Um, they need salt, we should have put, I think they had some salt maybe on the side there. It was very busy, it was seasoned salt maybe. Yeah. They're good. The Dutch and the Belgians, the Flemish, they really know how to make fries, frites, potatoes or something. People are making fun of me as they walk by. I know. Fuck them. <laughs> medium French fries, that's the medium, it's huge. And a Coke Zero, bottle of Coke Zero, nine euros, 40 cents. That's a lot, but they're very good. And we're in the most touristy place in this whole city. So, there you have it. It's raining more. We, we're having a bad little string here of rain. Museum. You go to the sex museum? Sure. She called my bluff. Okay, we're headed down to the canals <laughs> to get on a, a boat and go see these lights in the rain. This one's across from Central Station, so we are far away from home. We are right in the red light district. Fun times. It's a three and three thing on the boat, three seats aside, and there's two of us, so we can't wait to see who our third 
person who's gonna lean across to look out the windows will be? Well, it, yeah, it's three and three, like on a table, so we're gonna be staring at Also something. staring at the people who sit in these seats. It's okay, my resting bitch face, I think will keep people away until the very end. It's like Southwest, like just like have your hand on your side, like, no, no, sorry. Hey everybody. Hi. They're in our house. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. So we're about to see the light shows at the light festival yes we are <laughs> but we weren't able to record very good audio on the boat your stomach. <laughs> your need dessert <laughs> yeah the boat was a little bit challenging to try and get any kind of decent not that there was any audio to capture but we usually give our color commentary and we weren't able to do that <laughs> we always said we didn't really want to do voiceovers on on the, the videos but this is kind of a voiceover it's necessary it's okay because otherwise it'd be a pretty boring video. So it's like a watch along. You're gonna watch us watch our vlog and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna narrate it. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Look at Amsterdam, look at the rainy window. Of course it started raining. I think I mentioned that as soon as we got there. Chinese palace, China palace. The lost <laughs> this, video. This is like speed round, man. So the first installation was like a big arch to drive under? Something like that, something about like leaving something behind or entering into something else or I don't know. It was an audio guided tour and there was this creepy English guy giving us the details of the tour. This was your favorite one, right? <clears throat> yeah. This was a bunch of cables running across the canal up to the clock tower with lights on the cables. You couldn't even see them. I think you can kind of see them actually in that shot. Yeah, a little yeah. bit there. Yeah. I liked what they were going for, it just didn't stand out very much. You should breathe. I actually thought that this one was okay. At least there was a little bit of thought that went into it. I mean, exit. Yeah, it wasn't anything like spectacular, but it was better what, than, uh, oh, than like what? some just strings strung across Let's the canal. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know, this one lost me a little bit. This is where I started to kind of question what I was looking at. It was something about the movement with the wind and I, my thing is there's no lights in that. Like there's lights shining up onto it, but to me a light installation should, the, it should be the lights. These are supposed to be lightning bugs underneath the bridge that we went oh, under. fireflies. Yeah, fireflies, sorry. Where from. Right. I would lightning say Lightning bug is a thing. It is, but I would say fireflies. I just kind of forgot. I actually don't know what I would say. I would probably say fireflies. This was one of the first installations that was across the boat. Yeah, I don't even remember. Something about the bridge and lining up with the bridge. And I guess we should have paid more attention. It was impressive yeah, so. from where we were sitting, we just couldn't sure. see it very well. These reminded me of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. These lamps that were moving around. Yeah, I could see that. And it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland when like the flowers are talking. I think the people in the street had a like a better view of these. Yeah, so that's the thing. You can also walk around to all of these light installations too and kind of interact with them more than you really can on a boat. You just can't really see them all unless you want to walk two or three kilometers. Oh, some good shaky cinematography there. You like that? Yeah, and I like the water spots too. The water it spots. really adds like some ambiance. Ambiance. <laughs> this might have been my favorite. Really? Yeah, because it was a ring that was supposed to show you what the neighborhood would look like during a different part of the year. So when the trees have leaves and the sun is out. I thought it was interesting. Why a ring, though? Like, why not? Is this it supposed to be like a human see? eye? Maybe. It's if hard. it's not, it should be. Big projector in the neighborhood right there. Can you imagine if you lived right there? No. It was okay. At least there was some thought and effort put into it. Well, I don't oh, was this like the DNA thing? Like, they were supposed to be like little DNA... Strange. I got what you're saying. I missed that. What I must not have heard that on the... Like DNA. Felix's? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. This was pretty low effort, I have to say. Sorry if the artist who created these white lines going in a counterclockwise pattern. Well, the way they described it too was like it was stressful and scary. And anyways, this I think was my favorite one. These were like the paddles. They were like some sort of like clear. What's the word you use? Like a paddle, like a canoe paddle? Canoe paddle? Or something? An oar. An no. oar. Yeah. But what was the material? He described him as some sort of like, not phosphorescent, but... Yeah. I don't know. 
Luminescent. Luminescent, maybe that's he what He described them as like looking like candy lollies. That's what he called them, like little lollipops. Very British. Because they don't say lollipops, it's just a lolly. A lolly. Which is weird to me. But yeah. Sorry. You were bummed that was on the other side of the boat. I was, because you couldn't really see it on the video, but they were kind of like rainbow luminescent. I thought this one was kind of cool. There are two balls of yarn here in a row. There you go, yeah. I like those. Was there a cat? I don't think there was a cat. There should have been a cat. Right? I mean, balls of yarn? It was neat. I like that the string went under the canal and then over to that one, and this one was just all down the side. Yeah. The tough part about the boat is, like, I couldn't see what came up on the other side. This one, at least, we got to see the entire thing. But when you're on one side and there's seven people between you and the other window, like, it's hard to get the full experience of all the installations. There was something calming about it, like, just listening to the voice I, I and going through. no comment on these. I, what, what are you trying to imply that these look like, exactly? Kind of balloons. That's not what you're <laughs> What were they like? They were like underwater Lobsters. creatures. Lobsters. <laughs> Duh. Duh, can't you tell? <laughs> and that was like the end. Yeah, that's uh, about it. I think we missed one or two where we couldn't get clear shots of them. Oh yeah, the light bulbs. The light bulbs, because... Well, the dude that did like the Pink Floyd flying pigs in their old famous tours apparently did these. So he's like a real, you know, artist of not balloons, but like blow up figuring type things. I don't know, light bulbs are okay. Most of the people on that boat probably had no idea who Pink Floyd even is. So there's a lot of young people on the boat with this. Yeah. But that was the final installation. And then it looked like there was some other stuff over to the side, but then we could see the arch where we started and we were done. Yeah, over on the Nemo Science Museum, it seemed That's like right. there was a really cool one that we didn't get to see. Oh, hey, look, you're getting hot chocolate. We have to leave now, we have to go. We came back to the hot chocolate spoon place. Trying it again. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe they make it hotter. I wonder if you can order it extra hot. So we're like literally in a Christmas tree. It's January. I don't know why this is still up. <laughs> How was your light show, Amsterdam light show cruise, Katrina? It was so great. It was okay. It was okay. Worth twenty six fifty, probably not. Per person. Per person, yeah. Um, I don't know. It seemed like they maybe phoned in those installations a little bit. Some of them were barely <laughs> like I don't know. I, it's art. Art is subjective. Very subjective, and I appreciate it. But at the same time, like I, I wasn't wowed like I thought I was going to be because I've seen pictures like from past. We, we've From walked past. up, we walked up, there's a reunion going on behind us. We're by the Central Station, so. We walked to some of them last year and they were very cool. They were fun to look at and take photos of. Yeah. This year, I... There were like two that I thought were pretty cool. The boat was tough too because the ones that were on the opposite side of where you were sitting, you couldn't really see. And it was raining so there was water on the windows. That's the unfortunate thing about living in a place like Amsterdam is even when it's not supposed to rain, it's probably going to rain. And it rained. And it rained. For the, the like hour that we were on that boat, it rained. I don't want to hate on it too much because it's like the thing to do in the winter, but like maybe like look up online the good ones and go walk to them. Well, like the, the one with the marbles, I would like to see that one, but yes. I'd like to see it from the street, not from a boat. Yeah. So, so, how's your hot chocolate? I don't know. Um, I got a hot chocolate spoon, similar Again? to what we got in Delft. I think it's the same company. It might be. Um, so I'm letting it melt a little bit. Well, we gotta go catch a tram, go home. Well, it was fun. It's enough being in public for <laughs> a Saturday know, right? night for me. I wanna go put on my pajamas. All right. Bye.